guys today we're going to be setting up a logitech g920 driving for steering wheel and shifter on the xbox series s now my xbox series s is already set up over here in the corner i'll include a card and details in the description for the complete setup video i've done of that we're going to be setting it up on the next level racing sim frame here and this is the fgt light and again i'll put a card in the corner and details on this one in the description below we're going to be plugging it all into our lg oled tv okay so i've removed the shifter steering wheel and pedals from the packaging so let's go ahead and install it onto the frame let's make a start at connecting all the devices onto the wheel so first of all the wheel itself has a cable coming off it and the end of the cable is a usb connector and that will connect into the xbox series s now this cable we just want to tidy it away just into this cable management area and we'll put the connector on the floor next we've got the shifter connector and that goes into the corner here then we have the connector for the pedals that goes in this area and then again feed it through the cable management and then finally we've got the dc power connection which goes into the corner just over here and then we'll feed that as well through the cable management next we need to attach the wheel and there are two points here we could actually screw it onto the frame here but we're just gonna clamp it on using the clamps on the wheel that's a matter of just placing it in position and then just tightening up the clamps on either side and there we have it securely on now okay so we've got the wheel installed now the shifters in place as well I bolted that in at the bottom there's two bolts underneath that the pedals are in now four on this one so two at the top and two at the bottom in terms of bolts and the only thing remaining really is plugging in the power and the USB cable I've even tidied up the cables going around so cable management is nice and tidy so the cables don't get in my way so let's plug it in now so plugging in the power first and in terms of the USB I've got an extension cable going all the way around into the console so if I plug that in now there you go so with the G920 plugged in automatically starts calibrating so that's the first good sign that it could possibly work next let's try navigating with the controls on here that works so let's try out Forza Horizon 4 turn up the volume on here there you go it's launching up okay so i've started up forza horizon 4 on here and i've not made any changes to the settings in any way so let's try this out for the first time so i'm going to clutch down put it into gear rev nice it works excellent let's try changing gear yep that's working as well how cool is that so xbox series s with forza horizon 4 and obviously the logitech g920 works perfectly how cool is that my god so if you were wondering if it works you know now so i have had comments on my xbox series x video saying some games don't work so let's try another game out so i've also got forza 7 on here so if I now come out of this okay so I've started up Forza Motorsport 7 on here let's see if this works as well let's turn up the volume a little bit put it into gear that seems to be working as well the gears aren't working I've not made any changes to this so far but the steering wheel is working which is a good sign so let's now come out of this so now if we go to assist we go to shifting and we change that to manual with clutch 
So if I now come out of this, so let's try it again now. Oh, there you go. Shifter's working now. Excellent. So how cool is that? The Logitech G920 working with the Xbox Series S. So if you were wondering, this confirms it does work. So works with both Forza Horizon 4 and Forza Motorsport 7. So if you've tried any other games in this, do let me know if it's worked or not, only because some people are reporting that with the Xbox Series X, some games aren't working. So it'll be interesting to hear which ones are and which ones aren't. Give other people an idea. So there you go, hang around for the end cards for some more gaming tech and drop me a like if you've liked this video and let me know what you thought. Thanks for viewing and see you in the next one.